if you're headed to a Halloween party this weekend, why not whip up some witch's brew or something tasty to take with you, our wine and spirits guru and founder of Dallas Uncorked, Haley Hamilton Cogill, is here with some ghoulish drinks. Exactly. Yes. Wine and beers and ciders, which I thought was perfect for Halloween. Right. Well, especially for the adults. Hey, well, yeah. I'm <laughs> sorry. While the kitties are running around they getting their candy. They can have all their candy. This is my kind of candy. So <laughs> I drink you. my sugar and I think that that's perfect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I wanted to bring just a few kind of fun Halloween-y kind of, of cocktails or, yeah. or wine. So the first ones we have, I love the story both for Halloween but really any time of year. So there are these ghost wineries in California and uh -huh. really they were wineries that were planted in the 18... 70s, 80s, 90s, right. um, and then during the years that came that included both the Great Depression, mm -hmm. phylloxera, which was a vine disease that hit everywhere in the world, mm -hmm. and then Prohibition, a lot of these ghost wineries were just became abandoned, mm -hmm. and, and there are a handful of them that are still in California. Flora Springs is one. Flora Springs has one. Forty years ago, um, their matriarch kind of went in and cleaned up these two ghost wineries, and they kind of are playing it up. If you look at the, the two little labels, they're very fine. And, and ghostly. Um, a Cab Franc, which is one of the Bordeaux varieties. I love a single, when Cab Franc is usually made as a blending grape, mm -hmm. it's usually blended like right. with Merlot. Um, on its own, I think it is just insanely delicious. It's very floral, it has lots of kind of herbal notes, lots of good fruit notes, mm -hmm. really special wine. The other one they have is a Malbec, and Malbec, as we typically think of, is the Argentine variety, but it also comes from France. They grew it a lot early okay. on in, in California, so both really special. You can find both of them on their website. And you can go to these wineries and, like, check out the... The ghost, the ghost really? wineries, yeah. They, I mean, they're, they're vineyards, wow. so absolutely. They still... That now would be interesting. That they have kind of come back and, and regenerated them. You can go okay. and visit the vineyards, so beautiful. Next one is Besieged, and when we think of be being besieged, it's we're being taken over and there's something circling around us and we can't get out. And so Ravenswood, <laughs> um, the, the Sonoma property that's best known for their Zinfandel, when they were first kind of starting their first harvest, they had all these ravens circling the property that some might take as a bad omen. Ravenswood actually took it as a good omen, obviously helped name the wine I see. Uh, or the winery. And so this is a blend that Joel Peterson, their winemaker, created that has Petit Syrah and Carignan. A lot of these Zinfandel, a lot of these inky rich, robust uh -huh. Heavier. Fl flavors that are really going to go nicely with mm -hmm. also kind of autumnal kind of food. Really okay. special wine. You can find that pretty um, for the season. You can find it in a lot of different places throughout Dallas Specs has it right. as well as their website. So okay. And these wine. are all mainly seasonal we should add, right? Um, the, they're they're going to come out at certain times of the okay. year absolutely okay. as new releases. So right now is a good time to, to get them. Next one is what we have in our glass. It's from Gnarly Head. It's their authentic black and just Gnarly Head. I just love the name of this. <laughs> it especially just sounds for, gnarly. Well, and that's the, you know, the good old gnarly, kind of naughty kind of vines, the Zinf old vines Zinfandel right. is, is kind of what we think of in this. Their authentic black, also a really good seasonal kind of wine for right now. Petite Syrah based Zinfandel, that nice blend, it's what we have in our glass. I think it's really, really robust and inky. And if you're thinking of throwing anything on the grill or anything like that, I think it's going to be a really good kind of food wine. When you say inky, what do you mean by that? Like just the color of it. Look at it. It's really like, like, like. The, it's thick. It's, it's very, the texture of it's really rich, I but like it's it. also just the color of it. You know, sometimes you have really bright, very yeah. kind of clean, almost yeah, yeah. like garnet color or cherry right. color. No, this, this one's heavy. intense and yeah. rich and robust. It's full of stuff. Brought a few kind of fun, um, different things. I'm such a cider fan. Uh -huh. I'm also a huge ginger fan. And right. so I found Angry Orchard has their apple cider ginger which to me is like that's a complete home run right. on its own really cold or I mix some in with a little like vanilla vodka or a little ginger vodka maybe a little touch of Cointreau right. kind of a fun little cocktail um, top it off with that cider um, last little I wanted to give a shout out to Rar Rar and we, Sons I love Rar I do too yes. and they're and good people good people mm -hmm. based in Fort Worth um, you know their operation just continues to grow it does. I went out there not too long ago you can do so much there but then also just a few of their beers they always have the storm cloud their IPA I thought was very you know kind of scary um, <laughs> ugly pug black lager I love this I think it tastes like chocolate so Ooh, for, okay. for a kind of Halloween kind of wine. And last one is their blonde, which, you know, anytime you can drink kind of a good wheat beer, I think you're yeah, great. Yeah, it's so. light. And they have grown so much and just it's seems amazing. so quickly. You know, I mean, yeah. they were steady Eddie at the beginning out in Fort Worth. I met them a couple of years ago. Yeah. And then just
just the other day going down 75, I saw a, a, like an 18 wheeler, which is a raw right. brewery. And Absolutely. I was like, yes, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Good for and they're seasonals. They have a lot of seasonals that are out yeah. right now. They're and so you know, great. they've got good roots. That's okay. good German roots. They know what they're doing. They so. do. And it's thank you one. so much oh, for this yeah, beautiful, inky, inky, inky. Cheers. Happy Halloween. All right. You can mm. learn more all about these delicious wines and beers by going to Haley's website, and that is DallasUncorked.com. That's right. Absolutely. Okay. And when we come back, we're checking out the great voice of Taylor Phelan, uh, who's competing on this season's The Voice. Y'all stay with us. You're not going to want to miss this. We'll be right back.